So if you're if yeah. you're in relationship, let let's talk about it. Maybe someone yeah. listening can relate to what I'm about to say because yeah. I know people like this. You're in relationship. Sure. You're trying to live the moral law, trying to obey. You're trying to pray. Mm. You're trying to live your vocation. Right. You're 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 in it. You're trying mm. to read scripture. You're sure. trying to go to the sacraments. You're trying to do the things right. And life is throwing curveballs. You, yeah. You're just navigating, right? Yeah. You're on your path, hopefully to heaven, right? Yeah. Led by the Lord. If you are on that path, but you are not seeing signs and wonders, you're not seeing any healings, you're not prophesying or being prophesied to, you're not doing any of that post-Pentecostal specific Holy Spirit stuff. Mm. It's not really part of your daily, weekly, mm. or even monthly life. Are you yeah. Are you living? Are you doing what you should be doing as a Christian? Mm-hmm. Well, I know a lot of Catholics that don't really have a lot of good community, but that's part of our faith, right? We're meant to really be connected to the body of Christ. So there could be elements of our faith that we're not fully appropriating. We're not activated. Activated fully in. So um, the Lord's still with us, but there's more for us if we're willing more, to. There's more of Him. There's more of Him, endless, yeah. infinitely more of yeah. Him. So yeah. th- to that cr- Christian, you wouldn't say there's something wrong with you. No. But more that like there's you more. You don't, you don't have to speak in tongues to be saved. Right. right. But but yeah. maybe there's more, like to be truly Holy Spirit led. Yeah. There may be more for you, would you say? I, I, but I, I go back to the basics. Who is the Holy Spirit? I mean, to some extent, I mean, the apostles healed before the Holy Spirit was in them. Mm. Post Pentecost, right? He was with them, but then would be in them, which is different. Um, How is that different? Well, the indwelling of the Spirit is a unique grace that even even the prophets weren't called temples of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Something never said of the prophets. That's why the greatest in the kingdom is greater than even John the Baptist, because God dwells in the believer. It's profound. That's why Jesus said, I have something even better than being with you in the flesh. And that's serious. Even better. That's crazy, by the way. And some might not think, no, I'd rather just see you, Jesus. I know. It's take like, the wheel. It's even better than yeah. physically walking with Jesus is to have a spirit, he said. Right. But spirit made matter. So spirit is superior in a sense. Mm. But we, so much of our senses and perception is like in upside down. Hmm. So, um, so this, this idea of, um, I know it, oftentimes we can hear messages about the supernatural, and especially when people are, say, promoting, say, the charismatic renewal or saying, hey, everyone's got to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, or you got to be, I want you all to be praying in tongues. Like, often it's like, well, what about me? Like, I, I just changed, like, five diapers today, or I, I'm, I don't have time for that. I'm thinking about this, right? Well, I believe we're all called to live a normal supernatural lifestyle Mm. where it fits into Nazareth, Mm, right? In Bethlehem. Yeah. Mm. Um, Like my family, we we pray the rosary together, you know, not every day, but Mm. uh, frequently. And and when we do, we we all have have space to offer intentions, every Mm. mystery. But then the fifth mystery, we have our own little tradition of letting the Holy Spirit give us his intentions. Mm. And so from, from a young age, my kids have learned to hear God, and, and get images, words, impressions, different kinds of ways God speaks, um, share what they got. I often will write that down. And over time, you can see like these seasons of your lives that God was speaking through. Hmm, beautiful. And it's cool. And we just kind of pray back to God what he wants to do. And But from a young age, like two years old, my daughter was hearing God or having That's prophetic beautiful. dreams. And like, it's if you know that this is normal, you just do it. 